to vlogmas day two so Trent and I just came down to grab some breakfast it's about 11 o'clock this morning and we already got our workout in and um, so we're just gonna sit here and get some breakfast in us and then we're going to go um, to Napa Valley and go to a winery and tour the winery and um, just kind of have a day. So we're gonna get this breakfast in our belly and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so we're in the car. Yay, back in the car. Um, and we are on our way um, up to Napa Valley. So a little bit north of San Francisco. But I wanted to show you that it's it's kind of hard to see, but we are on the Bay Bridge. Um, it's a double decker. But if you have watched Vlogmas Day 1 from yesterday, you will have seen this bridge in my vlog, my last vlog. And see, you'll see like how it lights up at night and the lights change and they do all kinds of crazy, crazy stuff on it. But, um, but yeah, so I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know what we were doing, and also to show you what the bridge looks like um, when you're on it. So yeah, so much fun. So we will check in with you guys in a little bit. place a place that I have wanted to come to for so 
many years. It is like, I just can't even explain to you how excited I am and blessed. Um, but we are at the Robert Mondavi Winery. And the, there's a lot of stories behind this, but one of them is that when um, Trent worked for our previous employer, he had the opportunity to come here many, many years ago. And uh, Mr. Mondavi was just so impactful and his family was just so impactful on Trent. And um, just, I've heard so much about it and it truly is just like a place that I've always wanted to come to. And I am like way pumped. So come along with us while we take a tour of the Robert Mondavi Winery and um, just have some fun. All right, guys, this is the winery after you come through the iconic arch right there, which is just absolutely beautiful and really is just something you, you need to experience, truly. So what you can notice on this left hand side, these are all cavity Sauvignon vines that are around five years old. Compare them on the right hand side, those are also cavity vines that are around 20 years old. Oh. Kind of the different sides of the yeah. Something to also take notice on is the soil. You can notice, understand the soil is one of the biggest factors for that quality fruit. Even though it just rained, the soil is typically very dry, very rocky, very sandy, and if you get deeper, there's a lot of drainage in our soil. These are perfect conditions for grapes to wine, especially Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet doesn't like its food system being soaked in water, it loves drainage. Because of this, this is why we see vineyards plants on the other side, and so they can take drainage. Also on the bottom of the vines, is an irrigation system. The vines here set up in what's called a food system, which means they don't get heavy water. And that's pretty much the main difference between the grapes and the food system. Because the vines do not get heavy water, what this does is it forces that food system to dig deeper, so it can come The people who are still not looking at the roof are better. Someone. We've actually now just walked onto our world famous Toko Road Vineyard. This has been rated one of the highest quality vineyards in the United States for about 150 years. Understand the word Toko Road is the means highest on the The passive vineyards are those Mayakamas Mountains giving us that west coast shoreline breeze. But if you look at the east, you can notice. So the vines, this is what we see here, these are not grapes. This is called Boston Ivy. All of this ivy comes from this dirt square down here. This used to be a tool used by cellar masters back in the day when trying to insulate the building from the vineyard. The berries that the vine produces, I think, are not good for anything because not even the birds eat them, so I try to them. Um, it looked like they were, um, yeah, these are olive trees, but it looked like these were cab vines when we walked by. They had a Cabernet Sauvignon um, sign. <laughs> 
Don't worry, you join us next time. We'll again. So what we see in front of us is our Pueblo Vineyard. Understand what we see, the vineyard will extend an additional four miles south. Hey guys, so we are in the middle of our wine tour. Robert Mondavi. It's just absolutely beautiful. Learned a lot of stuff already and we are just getting ready to go in and do a little wine tasting. Good times. <laughs> Jesus Christ our Savior was born upon this day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone asleep. All right, guys. So we are wrapping up our tour and our time here at the winery. And I really do recommend and suggest for you to come to Napa Valley and not only come to Napa Valley, but to um, come to the Robert Mandavi Winery. I honestly, this has just been such an experience and so amazing and we have just really truly enjoyed our time here and so cheers to all of you and to um robert mandavi and we are now going to um just kind of travel through napa a little bit and find a spot a good spot for some dinner and um just take in what napa has to offer so um actually we were in oakville but the napa valley so anyways again cheers and we will see you in a little bit all right guys so we have decided to stop here at the prisoner wine company winery vineyard it's pretty cool looking so we are gonna go in here and there's that guy we're gonna go in here and see what this is all about. So let's go, drink some wine. Why not? So this is kind of the hangout area at the Prisoner Wine Company. If you ever have the chance to come here, this is another amazing, great winery. Super fun, it's brand new. They just um, redid it. They've only been open for two weeks. And it was like super, super cool. So this is the outdoor like patio area. And this is inside. Super fun. Way cool. 
They said that these doors are made out of like titanium from submarines. And it's just super fun. Highly recommend. Hey guys, so I know this is gonna be totally weird, but this is the first, guess where we are? We are in a bathroom. We are in a bathroom. And it's like perfectly legal for both of us to be in this bathroom at the same time. Because here's what I'm gonna tell you. Is it's an all gender restroom. How crazy is that? First time ever. Ah! Hey guys. So I just wanted to check in with you really quick. I don't know if you can hear me because it's like really loud, but we are still in Napa or Oakville, I'm not quite sure. But we are at the Rutherford Grill, who is highly suggested by our guide James. So we are just sitting here, just got set down. We've been at the bar for a little while, got an appetizer and a glass of wine. And now we are at our table finally and gonna order some dinner. So, sorry, our server was bringing us some more water, but anyways, we are gonna order some dinner and then um, go ahead and make the trek back down to San Francisco. So, yay! Oh my gosh, y'all. We just got our salad and this cornbread. Salad. Oh my gosh. And then let's talk about this cornbread that has corn, like actual corn, jalapenos. Oh my gosh, looks so good. Yummy! Hey guys, so we just got back to our hotel and it is 9.40 and I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with us and going to the winery and, or wineries. Um, and dinner and just kind of going through Napa Napa Valley with us but um, yay for vlogmas day two and like I said thanks for coming along with us make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so that you do receive notifications when I upload videos and we will see you in vlogmas day three bye guys